What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another day in Car Mechanic Simulator with me, the Virtual Mechanic. And today's project, Payne's Ford Escort Mark 1. This one is looking so cool. I cannot wait to get stuck into this. It looks pretty insane. It is a V8 edition. We do have a big old V8 engine in this one. Has done a lot of mileage, 326,000 kilometers. We got it from the auction house where we got just a tiny wee little bit ripped off. Not too bad. I bought it for 6,579 and could sell it for 5,867, losing 712. Although we're not going to do that. We are going to work on this one today. And we may even swap that engine out to this V8 double overhead cam at supercharged engine. Hopefully it should fit in there. There does seem to be quite a bit of room, but it depends where this engine cover ends up, whether we can actually swap this one out later. In fact, let's have a double check now. Let's go in and have a look at the body shop options. So we've got uh, the, the fuel door, you know, the fuel pump, whatever you want to call that pass. Um, some chrome pieces here. The window trim is looking pretty cool. Uh, air or engine cover. So we can swap it to an air box, uh, an air box and a roll cage or a roll cage and a strut or just a strut. So we've got a few swap options there. A couple of front bumpers with headlights and stuff like that. A couple of front ends uh race door card there i don't know if we'll use that one today but then we've got uh different fenders to go on these ones probably slightly wider and things like that lots of different stuff to play around with today uh, we're gonna see where we end up i'm gonna make this a wide boy if these are wide body definitely gonna make this a wide boy it already looks like it's sort of wide body on there so hopefully we'll be sticking with that one and we can change that strut to an airbox if we need to to fit that supercharged engine in which is going to be pretty insane I do quite like this. It's a bit of a beast of an engine. But before we get started, let's just go over. So the last episode, I obviously did my Bolt Cape Mark IV, the Virtual Mechanic Lowrider Edition. It is looking so cool. I wish I could keep it in the front of the shop, but it isn't as cool as this. And my shop van will always just stay here forevermore. So you do have to go in the parking. I'm afraid it is time to say goodbye. But you'll be pleased to hear I have uploaded this with the livery to the workshop they're separate so the config is one and the livery is another so you can build your own finally in this slammed style um with my custom exhaust tips coming out of the tail lights there with the tail lights removed looking pretty sweet but i need to move mine to parking sadly it's time to say goodbye to it. it is cool we're not selling it though we will come back to that later on in fact i am thinking about going through uh going through my parking and doing a video on all of the cars I've kept. Maybe I'll save that for like when we get up to 250 subscribers or something like that. So if we can get to 250 subscribers, I will do a run through video of all the cars I've kept, go through all my garage, take them all down the track again, maybe have a look at the tuning and things like that. We will see, but we have to get up to 250 subscribers for that. But back into today's video, the Ford Escort Mark 1. We need to get this one cleaned up. So let's get it over to the car wash and let's get it cleaned. Here we are then at the car wash. It is right-hand drive being British, so we're on the wrong side. But let's get the body all cleaned up, looking nice. Looks like it might be a yellow. Let's have a look. It is a yellow. It's a very rusty yellow. That is very bad. Looking quite smart, though. Let's get the interior done. Get it back on the lift, and we'll get that V8 ripped out. Get everything stripped down. First things first, we've got to check for that oil pan. I can already see it, and look how bad condition it's in. But that does mean we have to drain the oil so let's get this all drained out. Out you come. Not too bad and not very much of it at all in there. So that's that done. Nice and easy. Let's get in and get this gearbox out. Again, a drive shaft missing. Um, should we see if it's lined up like mine was? At least it is lined up. Let's just get down the back. Yeah, nicely lined up that one. It is just missing. So we'll get this gearbox ripped out. Probably have to get these front exhaust sections ripped out as well. Just to be on the safe side. So we'll grab you and you i don't know if i can grab you no that's cool that should be enough let's get it back on ground and let's get that engine ripped out before we check to see if we actually have everything inside this engine bay nice the engine came out nice and easy let's get you put away let's jump in and have a look what we've got here then oh that's the wrong button so we've got the air filter we know that one we've got a radiator uh brake servo the windshield washer reservoir the fuse box there's the battery down the back there are we missing the fuel pump at uh, the fuel tank? Am I just blind? Or do we not have... Ah, oh, there's the fuel tank just up there. Um, can we grab the fuel pump out of that now? Is there a fuel pump in it? There is a fuel pump in it, which... There we go. I was on the wrong mode. <laughs> Try that again. So we know the fuel tank's there. We'll grab this battery out. I need to put that one on charge. But we'll get back up here. So this 
this and this should all have liquids in so i need to get all of them drained additional tools drain tools and let's get it out there we go that's all that drained let's just take a look are we missing anything i didn't think we were it doesn't look like we are obviously that battery and the fuel pump now that i have it taking it out but nothing is missing from the engine bay so let's just get all of you ripped out there isn't a lot in here now do we have all the clips let's just double check one two i nearly missed that one then three and i can already see number four over there we do have all the clips clips thank you very much let's get the air filter completely out let's just grab the lid off this fuse box at least it is a complete fuse box that's not looking too bad we don't have the big chunky ones in there so we'll come back to that in a minute let's take a look at the suspension we have no wheels on all four corners so we probably are missing quite a bit but let's take a look so we're missing the sway bar front end link uh, missing the lower suspension arm we are missing the brake pads and the brake calipers the wheel hub bearings and the hub caps on this side so a lot missing from there what are we missing from this other side uh the hub bearing the hub cap the outer tie rod we did have both of them on that side and the brake caliper and the little pin that goes in it as well along with the lower arm again do have all of the bushings though yes all of the bushings are there so that's not too bad Let's jump down the back. This side, we are missing the two U-bolts, um, the brake pad and the brake caliper and the pin, along with one bearing, uh, bushing even, sorry. And then the other side, brake pad, brake caliper and the bolt. And the other bushing, along with the shock and the whole spring setup, and one of the U-bolts. So uh, not too bad at all. I'm going to crack on and get the rest of this fuse box out. Then I'll get the suspension all stripped, and then we're going to go tear down that V8, which we probably are going to swap to the supercharged one. That is everything is stripped out of the little Escort. Let's go and work on that engine. But first, we need to throw our battery on charge. 19%. That was quite bad. Let's jump in and check out this beautiful V8 engine. We are going to swap this one out to the supercharged. So I don't need to repair much of this. I just kind of want to get it all off of the car. And I forgot that you have to start with a roller and the belt tensioner there. And then you can get everything out nice and easy on this one. So I'm now going to get on and strip all of these rollers and pulleys all out. And I'll meet you back in just a second. There you go then. There was lots of rusty bolts on that one. It was all over the shop. Let's grab this oil filter out and this exhaust manifold over this side before we jump in underneath these engine heads. So first off, we've got the coil covers. So these need to come off along with... Hopefully, I was going to say four ignition coils on either side. They should all be there looking great. Let's get this head off. This is one of the longer ones, or well, the bolts are the longer ones, should I say. So let's get you all out with one rusty one there. Make sure we get you out as well. And then we should have double camshafts and all the spark plugs. Nice. Double camshaft, all the spark plugs under there. So I need to get all of them out. I'll grab this fuel rail as well while I'm here and get the other side matched. So I'll get all of this done and I'll meet you back here in a just a little while. That's both head covers off, all the spark plugs out. We need to now get this timing cover off. So let's get you ripped out with your couple of rusty bolts. Not too bad on this one, though. Out you come, out you come. And then we should get these timing belts off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then all four cam gears and then the camshafts. And then them heads, nice and simply. But we do need to take this. Ugh, forgot the throttle. Always forget the throttle on this one because it hides at the back and I'm not used to it. You'd think I would be used to it by now, but I'm still not. There's the throttle out. We'll grab that oil filter and get this intake manifold out. Then both all, both both the camshafts on either side. That still works, I guess. All of the camshafts out. And then we'll get these heads off and go and check out the piston layout very quickly before we move on to getting that bodywork all sorted. That's both the heads off. Let's get you rotated. We'll go that way for a change. Why not? Let's get this oil pan off. I always forget which way the engine rotates. It's just one of those things. Let's get that oil pan out. Obviously, we know we've got all the clutch set up, so that's good because the gearbox was in. we got three crankshaft bearings. I got them right for a change. And then, obviously, the four pistons on either side of all the rod caps. So I'm going to get all of this out, get it all finished off. It's looking pretty bad, but we're going to replace it all anyway. I was going to say, is there a screw missing? Um, and we're probably going to replace all of the pistons with performance parts anyway. So it won't be too bad. I'm going to repair some stuff, and then we're going to get that escort body stripped down ready to go over to the paint shop to check out what liveries we've got today that's everything is stripped apart from this beautiful body on the mark one escort it is time to jump into that we've already had a look at the shop so let's just strip it down i've got a few bits to play around with see how i want to make this look let's grab that front end off in one piece instead of them like separately now you come at no door windows nice 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 tail lights let's get that plate off more tail lights and the rear bumper 
Uh, window and door. Oh, fenders. I almost forgot the fenders. I even checked them in the shop as well, but never mind. Look at that. Barely stripped down. Absolutely nothing left on that. Let's get in and get this interior out as well. Front seats and back seats by the look of this. Nice. Along with that steering wheel. That is the steering wheel we'll be keeping. It does fit it very well. That should be everything. Let's just have a quick double check. Wrong screen. Down to 1%. And I'm missing the engine cover and car part two. Can't believe I forgot the engine cover after I spoke about it. And car part two was the window frames. Nice. Now that now should be everything. Everything off of there. Down to 1% ideal. Let's get this a frame all sorted out. Let's bring this welder over here. I reckon... What did I pay for this? Not a lot. I can't remember now. Six and a half. It's in a very bad condition. I reckon 1,500. 500. I'm still bad at this. Still very bad at this. We'll get all of this repaired. I'm going to go buy what I need to buy to get this one all back together. Looking lovely. Then we'll head over to the paint shop after we've got it all back together. Right then, let's get the body back on this Escort. Let's have a look. So for the front fenders, I actually just kept them as they were. I did buy new ones because they were too damaged to replace. Uh, but they've got the nice wide body. The two other options for the wide body have got mud flaps. So one takes this logo off and pits mud flaps on. One keeps this logo on and pits mud flaps on there as well. For the hoods, there's quite a few different options. I'm still undecided which one I want to go for. For the minute, I'm going for the one without the lights. I've kept that other one because I'm not sure. So we'll just go back in and get the other fender in. So the other one is the same as this, but it's got the bulgy lights sticking up there. And I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. So we'll come back to that. Front end, I just went for this lovely blacked out one. And obviously the headlights are just the round headlights. You can get the round ones with a cross in them or without the cross. Uh, and you can also change this front end to a square headlight one as well and put square headlights in. For the front end or the front clamshell, I just went for option B. The option is this has got the holes cut out here. You can see them for airflow. That's what I'm going for. And then the front bumper, I've got both, but I'm just keeping it as the chrome one as it is for the minute. I quite like that one. For the doors, we kept them standard. In fact, that one was repaired. And then obviously the windows are just the windows. I changed the wing mirrors to round ones to match the lights. See what I did there. Uh, let's just get car part two on. I've gone the black window trim with no drip rails on there looking pretty good rear window in and then the rear fender again the options are the wide body the wide body with mud flaps or the non-wide body or the narrow one so i've kept it with the wide body no mud flaps on this one we'll just get that matched up on the other side on with the door let's get these windows in as well and on with the side mirror there we go rear window in you go the trunk i've gone for the one with ford escort written on it because this is a classic ford escort and i do love it Tail lights, I went for the B's. Uh, the A's basically have another extra little light down here. I didn't want that, so I left it as it was. And the rear bumper is the only one on there. It is a lovely chromed out rear bumper. That should be most of the bodywork back on. Let's just get under here. For the minute, I've gone for the airbox engine cover. Just to see, I might change it back to the strut one. I do quite like the struts. We'll see how it looks later with the suspension on and everything like that. Just some plates to go. I've gone for some retro black plates with... VMSPCD V8, which is meant to translate to Virtual Mechanic Supercharged V8, but it doesn't all quite fit in there. But it still looks quite cool, black and white on the plates. Liking that, that should be everything apart from the interior. Let's just double check. 96. I'm missing something and I don't know what it is. That's upsetting. Ah, what am I missing? Can it show car part one? What is car part one? Let's just go into the shop. Car part one is the fuel door. Of course it is. I missed the fuel door. There we go. On you go. Managed to repair that one in the yellows. Lovely little combination of black and yellow at the moment. Not quite ready to go. Let's just double check. That's now at 100%. Let's get the interior in. Come off of this mode, into this mode, into that mode. The bench, I kept it as it was because that just is what it is. I also kept the steering wheel as it was as well. But I have changed the front seats to my favourite Nismo seats because I love these Nismo seats. They're so cool. And they just sort of fit in everything really like that. That's looking a pretty smart. That should be everything back together. 100%, 100%, 100%. Fantastic. Let's head over to the paint shop and check out the liveries that come with this one. Plus maybe the odd one or two downloaded from the workshop as well. Here we are then in the paint shop with the Mark 1 Escort. Looking quite nice in white actually with the black sort of... You've got the black trim on the hood, uh, on the front end there, and then you've obviously got the black trim around the windows. 
and then the black plate actually looks pretty good in white i am liking that but let's check out some of these liveries now i believe the first section of liveries are by french toast uh, and then there is a couple on there that i have got from the workshop i will talk about them as well so in slot number one we've got this beautiful old school retro castrol race livery looking pretty cool number 16 liking that that looks pretty smart probably not what we're going to go with today i sort of kept off of the racing rally sort of style without the lights and the mud flaps and stuff but we'll see what else we got slot number two that looks amazing okay i quite love that so you've got a black stripe down the side there you've got a black stripe across the ford escort badging uh, and then you've got the black detailing across the hood there that looks pretty sick and in black and white i quite like that maybe what we go for i don't know slot number three is the same but in blue i don't quite like that as much but maybe if the car was a different color if we had a green car for example green and blue maybe that's a bit too much i quite like the white and black so far let's have a look anyway slot number four is the red okay red and maybe if we did the car black that's not a bad look either i quite like that one we'll see uh slot number five i'm glad i changed the color to black is that in white? Do I like it? Do I prefer the body in black and the stripes in white? I don't know. We'll have to come back to that. Slot number six. This is a different one. I believe this is by, I'm going to say Milky, but that could be really wrong. I do apologize. I will include a link in the description down below to it. That's looking pretty cool. I oh, know this one's not Milky. Sorry. This one is Milky with the Mexico badging. Not what we want with the wide body. Not quite the Mexico for me. But still looking a pretty sweet. Oh, it's got the odd off stripes on the hood, on the roof as well. Quite like that. Not what I'm going for. Let's find out who this Castrol one. Oh, too far. Let's find out who made this Castrol one. I will be back in a minute. I think this one was Milky and then this one was somebody else. But I will find out uh, and then I will come back and decide which one I'm going to go for. Sadly, that Castrol one is cool, but it isn't what we're going to be going with. It's probably going to be one of these. And in fact, I do really, not that one, that's too far. I do really like that in white and black. It is looking pretty sweet. But I'll figure out who they are. I'll decide what I'm going to do. And I'll see you back here in just a moment. This is what I've gone for in this beautiful pearl white with obviously pearl black striping on the body there. Looking absolutely stunning. I've gone for the pearl white. I was going to go for the black body with the white stripes, but... I think the white body with the black stripes looks so much better. And both the Castrol and the Mexico livery are both by Milky. I will include links in the description below to them as well. If you want to play with them, the rest of them come included with the car. They are made by French Toast. The car itself, obviously, it made by Payne. This is looking pretty sweet. Let's dive in. What are we going to do with that engine? The engine bay is very white. And obviously, we've got this black engine cover here, which we may swap. But it probably means I will do the air intake black, maybe with white clips, maybe something like that. That might look quite cool. Uh, where was the fuse box? Was it hidden? Was it hidden? I can't even remember where the fuse box was now. Uh, up here, that looks like it's probably hidden. So it doesn't matter what color I do with that. And as regard for that engine, I mean, I'm sad to say it, but I'm probably just going to do a blacked out engine with some white head covers or something along those lines. That probably looked pretty sweet in there. And for the suspension, I'm probably going to either black a lot of it out or white a lot of it out maybe throw a splash of red in there maybe i will throw a splash of red in this engine as well just for a bit of additional color and then the rims i reckon they're probably gonna have to be white today you know we'll see how it looks when i put them on they may be black they may be white they may be chrome we don't know yet that is my intention though probably a blacked out engine with a few splashes of white on the top maybe with a bit of red just for funsies and then under here probably do the brake calipers in red the springs in red uh, and then like the shock in a black with the rest of it whited out or maybe the rest of it blacked out on the shock in white we will see i will decide how it looks when i come to it but that is what it's going to look like on the outside i'm quite liking that let's get it back on the lift i've got a few bits to paint so i will see you in just a little while that is everything painted for the little mark one escort let's get these shocks together i've gone for a white shock with a red spring i think that's what i mentioned i was going to do maybe i said a black shock but that is looking pretty sweet loving that black and white car that looks so good up there let's get a few of these pieces on obviously i've got some of the uh, unpainted parts already on but the front cross member is in black let's just get these bushings in so that i don't forget them in you go and in you go there 
the lower suspension arm also in the black there just to keep it a bit uniform you know looking good if you look through the engine bay the engine bay is white so you've got all the black underneath it then we've got the shock absorbers as you've already seen in the white and the red there uh, and then we've got a brake caliper in the red just for a splash more of that red for good measure and then the, the wheel hub cap hidden but white anyway we've also got the sway bar front end link i've got to put that on so i don't forget it as well now the wheel should go on obviously we don't actually want that on there that's looking pretty good in the black and white with a tiny splash of red let's get down the back this rear drive axle is in the black there let's just shift the on over a little bit so we've got the spring cap in white and then obviously the spring in red the same as the front looking pretty cool we've also got the shock absorber in white as well for that splash of color down here now these are all pearl colors or is a custom variant of the pearl color should i say uh we got that lower arm there in the black and then obviously the rubber bushing to go in the leaf spring plate in the white along with the u-bolts also in white as well because why not or white's not as french toast would have me say uh let's get these knuckle housing on and let's get up to that brake caliper and get the last splash of color in up here hopefully looking pretty good on you go and let's get that disc on brake pad there we go and then the caliper in in hopefully the red as long as i've done everything right that is looking pretty sweet black red and white mostly black and white with a little splash of red both at the front and at the back in the same places actually looking a pretty cool quite happy with that let's get the fuel tank in can i get the pump in from here i can as well so we'll grab that in there as well and we'll get all of these exhaust in if i could not be stuck on it what is I don't want to be here i want to be out here never mind let's just get these on this is i don't this is the one thing i don't like is trying to get that exhaust set up it's always a weird layout but there we go now i'm in a decent position let's get all the exhaust in nicey 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 thank you i'm going to get on and get the other sides all finished i haven't got my battery yet so i've got to go grab that before we crack on with that engine bay which is what we're going to do next i'm going to get this finished finished and then we're going to go sort out that engine bay i'll see you up there in just a moment there it is all finished off in the black red and white i think it looks pretty sweet what do you guys think let me know in the comments below i am really loving that it looks great but let's take a look in from the engine bay as you can see you've got that black cross member at the bottom blended into that lovely white engine bay which we do now to need to now get sorted so let's jump in let's just start with getting the brake servo in in fact i'm going to get down that back and i'm going to throw that battery in because i did remember to go and pick it up like i normally forget Let's throw that windshield reservoir in as well. Uh, what else have we got here? There we go. There's the fuse box base. I have coloured it. It is just in black, but it is hidden anyway. So we'll come back to that one in a bit. We've got the radiator C in at Yugo. We need to fill that one up with liquid. And then we just got the air filter to go. So we've got the base in, base, the base in black, the performance air filter, and then the cover in black as well, along with some white clips. I did say I was going to do that. I'm hoping this comes out looking a pretty sweet you have got that black air filter engine cover sat on it let's just take a look at that oh that's not far off at all and then white clips just pop enough to make it look sweet quite happy with that let's get on i've just got to ooh, finish getting all the fuses in i'm just gonna have a quick double check make sure i really have got everything i really have let's get all these fuses in and then let's go and build this supercharged v8 engine as i have swapped out to it is black it is white and there is a splash of red that's the engine bay and suspension all finished looking quite lovely just a little splash of red showing through the air filter cover there just to show more black red and white looking pretty cool but let's go and build that beast of an engine the v8 double overhead cam is supercharged here we go so the engine block is in black i don't think that came as a bit of a shock to anybody at all but it does look pretty cool let's crack on and get some of these pieces in i'm going to get all of the underside in the clutch set up all in all of the pistons in and things like that get all of that done and then i'll get it rotated and we'll be at the top end where we'll see a bit more of the color black and white are really shades not colors but you know what i mean a bit more of the color going on there hopefully looking pretty sweet i'll see you in a moment that's the block and oil pan in that pearl black as well it comes out quite nicely i have done the oil filter in black as well because the yellow looked a bit stupid the alternator obviously can't be painted and just is what it is and the power steering pump i have left it blank to sort of blend in with the alternator now is going to come the thing that's probably going to shock everybody the most not that fuel filter but i have done the engine heads i haven't gone for performance engine heads today because i really wanted them just black out everywhere so i've left them as the original engine heads and black them out all over 
Is it going to be worth it? I'm not looking for a stupidly powerful uh, Ford Escort. I'm looking for one that looks bloody awesome. So hopefully this will work. I mean, of course, it's going to work, but maybe the power might be a bit down on this one. But hopefully it will look pretty cool. Supercharger intake manifold also in the black. So far, this engine is looking a pretty black, and that's pretty sad. I've got the exhaust manifolds to get in on you go. Then I've got some spark plugs. All of the camshafts to go in on both sides. There's a spark plug camshaft. So we've got all of this to do with both sides. I'll get all of that done, and then we'll get that timing cover on, the cam gears, the belts, and get that front end finished before we finish up the top end with a splash more color. That's one side done, everything done on that side. Just need to get the cam gears on here. Lovely. Then we can get these timing belts on. On you go and on you go. I did manage to recover some of this from the previous engine, such as this timing cover, for example. Painted in the black just to finish it off there. This is looking pretty black with the only chrome parts being the alternator, the power steering pump and these exhaust manifolds. Quite happy with that. I'm going to get on and get all of these rollers and stuff on the front here so you don't have to waste your time watching me do it. I'll see you in a second. That's the front end finished for the minute. Just some belts and a few belt tensioners and rollers to go. Let's get this supercharger on. Again, it is the other thing that is in chrome and can't be painted along with the throttle when it lets me put it in. But now I've got that on, I can get these belts on here. Two belts, one roller down here somewhere. There it is. And obviously the belt tensioner. And I have done the belt tensioner in red just for a splash of colour at the front. There is a little bit more red on this engine. Don't you worry. Engine head covers, these are in white. And I think they look absolutely fantastic in white. Just blowing away the top end of this engine with a splash of colour. Looking pretty smart. Let's get on and crack on a bit further with this. Obviously, we've got these ignition coils in here. In you go. And then we've got the coil cover on top of this in red for a splash more red of colour. Looking quite nice, quite happy with them. I'm pretty sure I've done this. Maybe this is hacked engine before. I'm just getting flashbacks of it now, but looking pretty sweet. That throttle can't be painted either. And I have done the fuel rail also in red. That is most of this engine done. I've just got the other side to do, but I've got to grab some pictures. So I'm going to get this finished off, grab some pictures, and then we'll get it dropped in the Mark 1 Escort. Then it'll be nearly finished. I'm excited for this one. Here we go then. Ready to drop that supercharged V8 into the Escort. Let's go and let's get it done. Hood's already up. Crane is already over. This is probably the first time I've remembered to do everything. Let's get it in. Let's get that crane put away and let's take a look. Oh, that's looking pretty sweet. Maybe the red's a little bit too much, you know. Maybe I should tone down a bit on the red. Maybe make these head covers black um, and tone back a little bit on the red. Maybe change the... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I quite like it like that. We're going to leave it like that. I wish there was a little bit more black showing up. But it's still pretty cool. I did uh, give it a go with the strut bar. The strut bar is in chrome and can't be painted. If it could be painted black, I would have gone back to the strut bar. But it can't. So I've left it as the little air filter engine cover there or the air box. I quite like that. But let's get it up in the air. Let's get the gearbox in. Let's get the drive shaft in. And then hopefully we'll get some beautiful wheels done. And then this car will be finished. And outside in the sun, hopefully, fingers crossed. Unsure what colour I'm going to do the wheels yet, but the gearbox is in that pearl black. Same as everything else. Looking pretty lovely. The starter's in a pearl white, just to throw a splash of colour in there. And then let's get this drive shaft in. On you go there. Let's get you all bolted up. And then this car's nearly done. I just need to pick which wheels we're going to go for. Don't know yet. They're pretty wide boys at the back as well. So I'm glad I've got quite a powerful engine. Even if I have only got the standard engine heads and not the performance ones for a change. There we go. So I'll get the wheels done. I'll meet you outside in just a minute. Here we are then, all finished with the beautiful little Mark 1 Escort. I love that engine. I actually think it looks incredible. I'm so happy about it turned out. Slightly wish I could have put a tiny wee bit more black on it and a slightly less red, but it still looks awesome. I am very, very happy with it. This car is absolutely stunning. This livery by French Toast, available in a couple of different colours, is pretty cool, along with some other liveries by Milky. And a race livery by French Toast as well. Looking absolutely awesome. Very, very happy with this. Onto the wheels. I've gone for my two-tone wheels. My deep dish, my favourite ones. These are the rims 1A. Absolutely love these rims. The front ones are 15-inch rims with a 275 width, a 30 profile, and an ET of 50. Just to bring these out into the wheel wells. That's what I've gone with. Very similar to what it suggests, but not quite. And then at the back here, these are, again, a 15-inch. Uh, these don't have any ET at the back. They are just 285 width with a 35 profile. 
that's the size measurements i've gone for if you go into the car status that's what it came with as it were so i've changed it slightly i don't know which one's meant to be front and which one's meant to be back to be honest but my rear ones are 285 uh two, what are they 285 35 15s so maybe very close and my front ones are 275 35 at 275 30 15 with an et of 50 so slightly different to what it suggests there but still not far off this one is so cool i absolutely love this one the windscreen tint there's only about 50 percent tint on that and it still is a little dark i'll show you that in a minute but i absolutely love this so many little details like the battery and then in the bodywork you've got the cable sticking up through there that looks absolutely incredible in the doors you've got the window wipers we'll check out the interior in a bit and in the engine bay, you've got all of these cables just connecting things up. It looks awesome. And then obviously we've got the air filter engine cover that blends in with our actual air filter looking pretty sweet. Quite happy with that. But let's jump in this one and check out this interior. Obviously, I've got my Nismo seats in here as normal. There is a bit of drive shaft sticking through, but it isn't the end of the world. Sometimes that happens just maybe a little bit too low. You could bring the body up just a little bit and hide that one away. But this interior looks amazing. I'd love a Mark 1 Escort. These are so cool. But let's get this one started and see what she sounds like. Very meaty tick over from that supercharged engine. Let's give her some gas. Sounding lovely at the top end. Quite happy with that. Now, this is all performance parts apart from the two engine heads because I wanted them black, not chrome. But let's head over to the dyno and see what horsepower we got out of this one today anyway. Here we are then on the dyno with the Mark 1 Ford Escort with a V8 double overhead cam, a supercharged engine in it. Not the norm for this sort of car. It's got 456 base horsepower. How much did we add today? An additional 340 horsepower, a gain of 75%. That's pretty good considering I left out two engine heads. We could have definitely added a lot more with them bringing our total up to 796 horsepower. I don't quite see a top 10 speed aboard champion from those figures, but this should be quite a fast car. Let's have a look at the gearbox tuning we've gone for today. This car is a monster, I will admit. Even without them two performance engine heads, it's taken me a long time to set this one up. There's what I've gone for today. All of first gear, but only up to 55 kilometers an hour. And a long curve all the way out to 516 at the top end. I don't think I'll quite get there. I will tell you, I have had to bust my controller out for this one. So let's head over to the track and see what I can do with it. Here we are then at the speed track with the Mark 1 Ford Escort with its 796 horsepower supercharged V8. Very hard to handle this one, but let's go. Give it full gas for gear one and two. Drop off for three into four and four into five. Otherwise, it will spin out and try and kill me. Very much a love-hate relationship with this car. I love it. It hates me, but let's give it a bit more now. You can't ever give it full power because it will try and kill you. Here we go, gear eight. Let's get it down a bit more. There's 400. Where are we going to finish up? We are pulling to the right. Can we make it to the end? 446 kilometers an hour from the Mark 1 Escort. And it landed on its wheels. Tesla paid a lot of money for that to be a feature in their cars. I didn't for this. Still awesome at 446 kilometers an hour. Very happy with that. So 446 kilometers an hour from the little Mark 1 Escort. Actually incredible. Pits it 25th in the speederboard out of the 109 or so cars. 109 or so. It is 109 cars. Out of the 109 cars we've done so far, 25th is actually incredible. I'm very impressed with this supercharged V8 Ford Escort. It is awesome. Loving this one. It is so good. A link in the description below. This is modded in by Payne. The livery you can see on it is included. That is by French Toast. There are a couple of other ones. I will include links to the description that are on the Steam Workshop and are pretty cool by Milky. So well done to you guys. You've done some excellent work on this beautiful Mark 1 Escort. That interior is so good. A lot of effort has gone into this one. It just looks so incredible i'm very 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 happy with it but it is time to jump into some facts and figures you saw at the beginning i bought this car for six thousand five hundred and seventy nine and got ripped off 
only by about 712 though so it wasn't too bad it was still a decent figure this car in black and white looks so good just massively distracted myself it was still a good figure um i spent today on part 65,178 pitting our total spend for this beautiful mark one escort at 71,757 and it's not too bad but we do need to see how much we can get this one sold for so let's uh, jump in and have a look into here this is the v8 edition or it is now a v8 supercharged edition uh we got it from the auction house as we already know we got a little bit ripped off it is all completed but we have increased the horsepower of this car by 75 percent bringing the total up to 796 and we didn't do the two engine heads in performance parts so it could have been even higher we will never know we probably will because i'll probably come back to it later because this is absolutely awesome i love this car but can we make a profit from it let's have a look 83,465 is the sale price. Take away our 71,757. Leaves us with a profit, thank God, of 11,708. Not a bad profit from a very old car. A lot older than I am, this car. I say a lot, it's not that much. But it's older than me, nonetheless. Still a very awesome car. It is time to say goodbye to that beautiful Escort, though. Look at it. It is so lovely, but we do have to get rid of it. So off you go, Escort. It has been a absolute pleasure. Link in the description below. Go and grab that one yourself. Up next, we've got another Brit car or a British sort of style car. This is the Volkswagen Bora. This one is a modded in by Lit, and it is the Lit Edition. This is the 2016 Bora. It looks slightly older to me, but it probably is. Who am I to correct Lit on this? Absolutely fantastic job. We got it from the auction. I skipped over myself there where we actually got a good deal. Yay! First time in a long time. 36,539 I paid for this one. And I could sell it for 37,101, gaining me 562 profit if we were to sell it now, which we're not going to. This one has got the I4 double overhead cam 4x4 engine. We could swap it to the single overhead cam 4x4 engine, but we're probably not going to go do that. 380 horsepower is the base on this one. And it looks incredible. This is the lit edition. So this would be, uh, you know, body kitted, stanced, all of that looking absolutely incredible. Actually looks a bit like the Skyon or something like that from the base game car at the front there. But it is looking incredible. This is going to be for next time. Have we got a little screen in there? We have. It just says lit on it, though. Looking absolutely awesome. Very happy with that. The Discord competition has come to an end now. The voting will have closed by the time you see this. And on my next video, I will announce who the winner is. It might be me. I don't know if it is me yet. I'm recording this on Thursday. The voting closes at midnight tonight. So by the time you see this, it will have closed. And I will know who the winner is. At the moment, I am in the lead, though. So shh, keep that one secret. So that is going to be cool. Do join in, though. Come and join us on Discord. Link in the description below. We will be running another competition to vote for the next car. And then, you know, over the course of two weeks, we'll pick the car and get the cars done and uploaded. So there will be a new one happening soon. So do come in and join us and say hi. In fact, I'll probably be setting it up in a minute, deciding which cars we're going to throw in there, which is pretty cool. But that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider subscribing hitting that like button and most importantly leave me a comment let me know what you think i love the comments i love hearing people's opinions even suggestions what you'd like to see for some other cars i had one on instagram yesterday they want to see a police livery ford crown vic it will happen at some point i'm not sure when but we will get to that one eventually looking awesome but thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend don't get sunburnt like i did and as always i'll see you in the next one goodbye